Bye. Well, Protected Meal Times was a project that was born in around about 2004 as part of the Better Food for Hospitals campaign. And really, what it's trying to do is to give some protected time where everybody on the ward just stops and focusing, focuses on the meal time service. Our philosophy in this trust is that food is treatment. It's as much treatment as somebody's medication or an investigation or, or an operation but it's only helpful if you take it. So it's really important that we do everything that we can to get as many calories, as much um, hydration into our patients that is suitable to their needs. So through protected meal times, um, we can do that in three ways. First of all, we make sure that there's some pre preparation, that our patients are given the chance to go to the loo, wash their hands, sit up, and that they're comfortable, ready to have their meal. And secondly, we ask everybody that's not involved in the meal service to leave the wards. So we ask relatives just to go and get a cup of coffee while we make sure that that essential treatment of nutrition is given. It may be that people want to stay and help. They might want to eat their sandwiches with the patient. That's absolutely fine. But the activity has to be on getting um, nutrients into patients. Anyone that's not involved in uh, emergency care will have go from the ward so that our nursing staff and our catering staff can work together to get meals out. We have volunteers that come in and help us in terms of unwrapping food, giving drinks, helping clear the decks so that we can really focus on patient care. And then the third component is making sure that people have eaten and that they've had a drink. So if people aren't eating, we'd expect that um, We'd ask them why. Do you not like the food? Can I help you? Have you not got the right cutlery? Can I get you an alternative? And we'd make sure that the food intake is documented so that nurses have got the time to say, um, record what's been eaten and make sure that that's fed into a plan of care. Protected Meal Times was launched in 2006, but Brighton and Sussex Hospitals was one of the early pilot sites, so we actually started many years ago. Um, it's a government initiative and it's been brought around um, as part of Essence of Care and the Age Concerns Hungry to be Heard campaign. Um, and it's all around um, promoting meal times really in order to um, make sure that we have dedicated times for patients to actually sit down, um, eat and drink properly in order to promote their health and well-being. A key aspect of protected meal times is preparation. Hey, are you ready now for yeah, using thanks very much this? Okay. It's important that efforts are made to ensure that the patient is ready before their meal. They need time to be allowed to go to the toilet if necessary, to wash their hands. Do you want to straighten up a little yes, bit please. for lunch? Yeah, That's it. To be sitting up and comfortable before the meal arrives. Here we go. There's your table, mind your feet. Staff involved need to know what needs to be done before the meal is served. All staff not directly involved in the care of patients during the meal period should leave the ward. Lunchtime. Lunchtime. Nursing staff play a key part in making sure patients receive their food, making sure they can reach it and that they get the help they need to eat their food. Sometimes the meal available might not be what the patient wants 
and it's important that patients know that there are many alternatives. It's vital that patients are not interrupted during the meal time. The ward needs to be as free as possible of distractions so that patients can concentrate on eating. Okay, so his wife's feeding him. Right, okay. They're... And the one says, Mrs. Yeah, um, I've given him a green tray, so just to make sure that he's finished all his meal, although he can eat it himself. Did you enjoy your meal? I did very much so. I liked it. <laughs> Kish Lorraine and green salad. Perfect. Oh, wonderful. I'll take this away for Thank a you. minute. And that's for tomorrow. After the patient has finished, the food they have eaten must be documented so that an accurate record of their nutrition is maintained. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hi, Anna. Are you ready to come for some lunch? Yes, so, okay. summing up, chair? prepare the patients, well done. clear the ward of visitors and distractions, ensure the patients have the food they want and that they can eat it, and finally, make sure that what they have eaten is documented properly. I'll just try it like to be... Protected Meals gives our patients time to eat and enjoy their meals without being taken off the ward. Uh, it means that the food is served as hot as we can get it to the patient. It's the best way of trying to ensure people can maximise on their nutritional intake. I think it needs to go from strength to strength and I think, you know, that as, as a ward um, we are um, providing this service um, and it should continue um, for the benefit of all of our patients and to increase standards of care uh, with nutrition on the wards. For us it means that we can provide a service to all the patients and get it done within 30 minutes. We have a 30 minute rule that we have to serve it and that protective meal times really helps us achieve that goal. I'm really, really passionate about it and I think as a matron it's something that we can really champion. Uh, I think as long as I'm not having to be involved in a patient who needs more urgent medical attention, it shouldn't have a great impact on my working day and also I think uh, uh, doctors should be having breaks as well. In the press we've seen recently a great deal of concern around um, particularly the elderly not having the nutrients, not having the help that they need to eat and drink. We've seen that in the Age Concern recent publication, Hungry to be Heard and that itself calls for protected meal times to be in place as one of its recommendations. And I think our job as nurses is to say to relatives, we are really concerned about this and we are determined to make sure that your loved one has their nutritional needs met. I think it works very well. I think it gives a, a nice ebb and flow and routine to the day as much as anything and it gives patients the uh, time not to be disturbed aside from uh, it being a meal time it also gives time for the nursing staff to help those who can't actually help themselves to feed and it's that group who often miss out if they're rushed. Protected Meal Times is a commitment to make sure that patients are getting their nutritional needs met. It's about teams working together to make sure that before the meal time the patient has the opportunity to prepare, they've gone to the loo, they've washed their hands, they're set up and they're comfortable to receive the meal. The second part is around stopping all non-essential activity, all the routine tasks so that everybody's focused on the meal time service and patients getting the help that they need, that they're enjoying their meal in a dignified manner. And then thirdly, making sure that they've had enough to eat and if they haven't, putting that into the plan of care and making sure that an appropriate intervention has taken place. So it's a real multidisciplinary approach but our belief is that it's really vital to making sure those fundamental needs are met.